Zoom tablet. I'm not going to sit here and go over all the different ports and etc. I'm sure there's 10 gazillion other videos. I'm just going to give a brief rundown. I've only played with it for a couple hours. So we'll just go over some basics here. Uh, go ahead and unlock. And right now I'm hooked up to a Verizon MiFi hotspot. I do not have the device, the device hooked up to 3G. Um, just want to show off some of the features. It may be a little bit slow internet wise just because the MiFi is terrible. But we'll go ahead and hop right into it. We'll uh, go ahead and do the browser here. And there we have Google. Uh, you touch an input and now we've got our keyboard. What was surprising to me is how quick the keyboard is. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to type that well from this angle but we'll give it a shot. Okay, typing. Hello, everybody. I mean, it's quick. It the responsiveness is just like right here, right now. It's really quite amazing. And of course, we'll cancel this. And you can do multi-touch. We'll zoom in drag it around. This is extremely responsive. I mean like right here, right now. Um, just click this link. Boom. As I said, we're on a MiFi network so it's not exactly the fastest time. When I'm over Wi-Fi it usually does a much better job. Hello. There's a picture. We'll zoom in on it. Drag it around. Let's see her face. I mean, it's just, this is a really small picture, and it's just impressive how far it actually blows it up. Uh, on to my, some of my other favorite features. I've got my widgets. I've got email right here on top. Um, this is, would be my Yahoo account. Go back to my inbox drafts, uh, outbox sent, even the bulk mail folder, which my old droid did not have. Um, of course, Gmail integrates flawlessly. There's our Gmail. Um, the Google Talk feature is really cool. You can talk to people via voice or video uh, right through Gmail. Uh, tried this last night. It's really quite incredible. Uh, of course, the Android market. Now keep in mind we're less than a week after release, so you know not everything is quite tailored towards Honeycomb yet, but I've been pleasantly surprised with all the features that are um, Google Maps, for example. We already have, we'll open it up. The GPS receiver on this thing is just fantastic. I'm inside a building with two roofs and it still can find me no problem. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Um, again, we're on a slow Wi-Fi network. It's not even 3G. When you're over Wi-Fi or 3G, this happens much, much faster. This isn't hardware limitation. It's simply network limitation. Um, Google Maps is just incredible. You can rotate, zoom, the whole nine yards. It's just, as soon as you do it, it's immediately responsive. Um, you can. I, another one of my favorite features is going to have to be the voice recognition. A and W root beer. Bam! It finds it. It brings up results. I mean, it's just amazingly quick. I just can't say enough good things about Google Maps. Uh, another thing to show off the processor in this thing will load up Angry Birds. Again, resolution is fantastic. Nothing looks pixelated. We'll do a play. Again, in games you have multi-touch supported, so we'll go ahead and zoom that out. We will. There's our little birdie. We'll go ahead and grab them and release. 
Boom. Well, couldn't have done that again if I wanted to. Um, the real responsiveness here is amazing. If you go and hit the pause button and do a reload, watch how quick this happens. Boom. You are good to go. You're ready to shoot. I mean, I can do this over and over again. Nothing affects it. We're ready again. Fire away. Exiting is also just as quick. We'll hit pause, we'll go to the main menu. And are you sure you want to quit? Yes. And just like that, we're back at the desktop. I mean, there is zero lag. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, Facebook. Real nice interface here. We can go through, look at pictures, etc. The pictures also look fantastic. see that. Glare has been somewhat uh, of a nuisance. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but uh, under these direct fluorescence, etc., it uh, can really take some time to uh, get used to the glare. At night, it's fantastic. Under the right viewing angles, it's fantastic, but like I said, there are times where you will get a glare. The rotation is almost immediate. Um, does that flawlessly. We've got our e-reader. We've got our three books here for our e-reader. Um, comes pre-installed with Pride and Prejudice, Great Expectations, and Alice's World in Wonderland. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up Alice here. Um, it's really quite amazing. The scrolling is right here, right now. Pictures show up right away. Super, super easy. Um, and once again, we'll support rotation. So if we want to read it as a larger page, that is no problem. Again, I've only had it, as I said, for a couple, I've only been able to play with it really for a couple hours, so I'm sure there's infinitely more things that uh, we can do on here, and the App Store will obviously continue to improve. Um, another cool feature here is all right. another cool feature here, again, with the voice uh, at any time from the main screen, you can do a Google search by voice. We'll go ahead and hit that. Um, we'll do, we could, you know, you can set it to send an email, navigate to, send an alarm, map, go to, directions, etc. We'll do navigate to, and we'll pick Summit Racing. And it takes you right to the Google search for Summit Racing. Again, just really, really quick. Um, I haven't had any voice commands that it has not been able to recognize. Ironically, except for Zoom, which it wants to spell Z-O-O-M, as opposed to the Microsoft, or I'm sorry, Motorola Zoom, which is X-O-O-M. But again, I mean, it's just absolutely flawless. And that sums it up for now. Once I get some more applications on here and I can move in further um, with new apps, etc., I'll do another review. But for right now, I'm just absolutely tickled. The, uh, the battery life is phenomenal. I played with it for three or four hours last night. It didn't even hit 50%. Um, like I said, just not enough good things I can say about it.